dust, it's space dust. It just sounds cooler, right? But in a minute, when we get our coffee, because that's an important way to start your morning, we're gonna have a sit down chat about how we ended up here and why we chose to end up here and what it took to get here. Does that make sense? It just looks like a morning weather broadcast. <laughs> we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, um, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Oh, hi. <laughs> Why is it just constant dust everywhere? I swear I clean the boat. No, I think you did. All right, well, good morning. Coffee? Coffee. Why did we get coasters out and then sit it down? <laughs> I don't like to use coasters. I feel like half the time I sit it down and I, like, miss it. And then it's Plus, just... that's my good coaster. Use this one. Uh -huh. Okay. So. So. I might need to scooch you over just a smidge. No, you don't have to be over here. I don't know if I'm in it. We might be in the middle. We might not be. I just kind of set it up with you in the frame. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Okay, so. Coffee first. Oh. Speak later. Okay, well, we're working on about 19 minutes of card time, so go. So, sailing. Why sailing? Why sailing? I don't know. We didn't like sailing. Well, I had never been sailing <laughs> until I met you, so. And that was 10 years ago. Yeah. And. We went sailing with your parents, because your parents have a boat. And you had always been sailing with your parents, but you still kind of hated the sailing part, loved the destination part. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I, I got into sailing, because my earliest memory of sailing was that evil Santa-looking man who scared me. <laughs> my parents dropped me off at sailing school when I was like, I don't know, six or seven, where we sailed dinghies for a few hours and my parents went, I don't know, shopping or <laughs> to get some peace and quiet. He was a cheap babysitter. <laughs> and I would hide behind the dumpster instead of go sailing because the evil man would yell at me and he ruined sailing and Christmas for me. Mm. Poor you as a child. <laughs> but, uh, and then, and then we used to sail the Caribbean, which was wonderful because the destinations were always amazing. But I always hated the sail, the the whole like, oh, we got to get up today and move to the next place. And it's going to take an hour and a half to go 1.5 <laughs> miles. And you're like, why? And you got to do all this work. I was like, this is a nightmare. But then... Um, fast forward. Fast forward. Many years. Yeah. We were living in California. 2012, I think it was. Something like that. Yeah. And... Having a blast, yeah, but making no money. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my father asked me to be his first mate on uh, his circumnavigation, and I said, "Nope, <laughs> not interested. <laughs> Don't like sailing." A um, couple of times, and after speaking to some people, they were like, "Yep." Yeah, you're an idiot if you don't do it. In fact, I, I recall my boss telling me he was going to fire me if I didn't do it because clearly I'm an idiot. So. Okay, so then that started, what did it begin? January 2013, right? That was being thrown in the deep end because I went from yeah, like, hating <laughs> sailing to, go, to, to, to committing to 360, not 365, 18 months yeah, on a boat. It, it was 18 months. Around the world. Starting in Antigua, ending in Antigua. Um, what was your longest passage from Panama? I think it was 21 days. Well, you guys went to the Galapagos first before you went to Yeah, Marquesas. Galapagos to the Marquesas was the longest passage. But on your boat, which is bigger than this boat, so it took, it will take us a lot longer to do that passage. <laughs> yeah, but now I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so you went on some long passages and fell in love with long passages. Then you preferred long passages over day passages because which I yeah. kind of do too because then you get into like a little bit of a rhythm and what's your rhythm sleeping yes I do a lot of sleeping <laughs> I sleep really well no <laughs> um but yeah you just kind of get out there and you just 
fall in love with it because you just nothing else matters in the world like you don't have your cell phone in front of you to see what everybody else is doing I've like, never read so much in my life but yeah, I didn't do that trip. I did this. I did the summer, um, and I came for three months, and I did from Tahiti the and to Australia, which was amazing, and that sold it for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and had, it was that part of the trip that made us think maybe we should do this on our own someday. On our own someday. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we. Here we are. <laughs> but that was Breakfast. 2013 to 2014 so now it's 2021 and it took us a long time to get here we had a home um once he got back we ended up living in north carolina and both getting jobs there i was working as a nurse and ed was an industrial designer designing very comfortable airline seats stuff <laughs> um and we really started cracking down thinking like, you know, we, there's something more. We, we want to get back to sailing. We want to be on the water. Well, the funny thing is, while you're sailing, even though you know you love it, very often <laughs> you, hate you it tell yourself, <laughs> I hate this. I got to get off the boat. And so after getting off the boat in 2014, I was like, I'm never getting back yeah. on it. And then it took like maybe six months and I was had itchy feet to be sailing again. Yeah. And, uh. But we didn't, I, I thought that was just kind of like the come down after being on a boat for so long. And then... It was like that, I mean, whenever we had just a horrible passage, like the eight days Vanuatu to Australia was just horrendous. Three days beautiful, five days horrendous. I got off that boat and I was like, I'm never getting back on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't wait to get out of there. Yeah. And then like two days later, I completely, you know, you just forget you about forget it. You forget that part and you're like... And you're like, oh, that would, Gotta go sailing I want to go again. And, um, so we were back in North Carolina and we were sorry, settling down. We're like, okay. Story jumps around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like us. We were about to buy a house and I think we were in the apartment when we said to one another, I think we'd watched a YouTube video or someone else who was, that was Young working. and doing it because everybody's like, no, you get to do that when you're like old and retired. Yeah. No offense to old and retired people. <laughs> yeah, good for you doing it, period. <laughs> uh, we're going to be working till we're 90, so it's fine. <laughs> we but, uh, a midlife break. Um, yeah, I call this my midlife retirement. We don't have children yet. We had planned to get married. We got engaged in 2019. It's now 2021. We had started to plan a wedding the beginning of last year, but things happened in the world, and that put a little bit of a damper on that plan. So eventually we'll get married. I think we're going to plan to try to get married along the way. Maybe on the bow of our boat. That'd be a nice, yeah, very affordable small wedding. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Smaller, the better. <laughs> um, sorry, back to my story. What were we talking about? We were in North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we were watching a video. Yes. And we thought, maybe we should try doing some sailing again. And we said, okay, what would it, what would it take? And we said, well, let's not fully commit, but let's like start saving money like we're going to. So we, we started cutting things out and saving things and selling some stuff, but nothing too crazy yet because we were like, this is just a dream, yeah, and an then idea. Yeah, we continued to buy a house, which was <laughs> Yeah, we opposite. bought a house. Yeah, well, I always thought that no, was a good investment. No, it was good. It was actually an investment. We uh, bought a house that needed quite a bit of work. And I like to do things hands-on. And in the end, sold it for a bit of a profit, which Basically really helped fund the boat. our yeah. boat and trip. Um, yeah. yeah. So... But that was about five years of... Well, yeah. It was 20, what, 16 was when we bought the house. Okay. And then we sold it in 2019, so... Yeah. Three years of living in a house. Yes. And the entire time we were there, I think we were living in this house, trying to make it a home at the same time, selling everything in the house. Yeah, it was funny. I was <laughs> saving and selling stuff, and every day Paige would be bringing stuff home no. <laughs> to, to make it look like a home. I was like, hmm, I just where did that come from? I cute home and <clears throat> at the same time, yeah. So, but man, we really buckled down 2018, halfway through the year. We sold, I mean, our home looked empty, completely empty. It was. It was. And then we sold it in... August. August of 2019. And then we decided to, Ed's parents were living in New Zealand at the time, which is where they still live. Um, they are not from New Zealand originally, but during the circumnavigation, or the second time they went 
across the Pacific. They went to New Zealand and fell in love and now have a home there. And, and I'd never been. And we, yeah, we'd never been because your circumnavigation went above New Zealand. You didn't hit it. Um, so we decided before we continued our boat search, we wanted to go visit his parents. We hadn't seen them in quite a long time. So we joined... Well, well kind of. Also, my parents, we, we hadn't been sailing in for oh, quite a, a few years. years we, yeah. And so we were like, well, before we commit again and buy a boat, let's make sure we're serious. And I spoke to my dad again, and he was uh, signing up to do the Pacific Rally, which mm -hmm. is a bunch of Pacific boats from Circuit Rally or something. Yeah, New Zealand go out and do like Tonga, uh, Vanuatu, and New Caledonia, which we didn't do last time mm -hmm. either. And so we said, if we can sell the house in time, we'd join them and make sure that we still actually want to do this. And so we joined them in Vanuatu, Vanuatu after selling our house and buying a like, last minute ticket and spending 48 hours to get there. Oh, it was awful. And then jumping on the Sometimes boat and the sailing to the Sometimes the cheapest ticket is not the best ticket. <laughs> That's a long story. Okay. But yeah, so we literally got there and the next day we <coughs> headed out of Vanuatu. Which so does this story make complete sense because now? Because <laughs> we've been to Vanuatu before and we loved it. But So we didn't really get to spend any time near that time. We went straight on to New Cal. And yeah, we are, we were still in love with it. We ended up spending in, after the Pacific Rally, we spent until um, January, end of January 2020 is when we um, ended our trip in New Zealand and flew home to the U.S. to continue our boat search and within a month of being home everything started shutting down. So back in North, North Carolina staying with my sister I stumbled across I'd been looking oh shit this isn't even right no. oh, so when we were in New Zealand we bought a van to travel around because that's what everyone does in New Zealand um, or you rent them. Now, we were, we were, because we didn't know how long we were going to be there, thank goodness, we didn't rent one for just a couple of weeks. We, we, we bought one. The name was Peggy. We called it Peggy. <laughs> so it was just a minivan with a bed and a sink in it, essentially. And we drove that around New Zealand mm. for a month and a, a half with that extra two weeks that we did afterwards. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we loved it. You know, the, the campsites, the people you meet, um, the kind of like, cozy feeling on an evening where you climb into your tiny little home and go to sleep or make a meal and then go to it sleep. It was cozy. It was nice. And, uh, and just a cool way to see the country at your own pace. And so when we got back to the US and we, were, we realized we probably couldn't do a boat, I found, I found myself looking at vans. Yeah, we're like, we still are in this travel mode. Let's try to see more of the US, but safely on our own away from people. <laughs> yeah. same time yeah. so we thought i mean the van life was a pretty good route to go so unfortunately we lost a little footage here but what we were talking about was that we ended up getting a 2016 sprinter van uh, that we purchased in april of 2020 we spent about two months or just a little over two months converting it to live in full time and to continue our travels up and down the east coast of the u.s um, we mountain biked, camped, just had a blast in our van, would recommend it to anybody. Um, once things seemed to be opening up again for boat travel and it was looking more like a possibility, we ended up using our van as a way to go to see sailboats that we're possibly interested in. And I think our next stop after we looked at a boat in Georgia was to go up to Connecticut to look at a Hans Christian, which is where I think we jump back into the story. Enjoy. Okay. Interruption. We had a camera malfunction. So we were in Connecticut looking at the Hans Christian. Definitely wasn't uh, like most boats we went to look at that were... Should we cut to like all the boats we looked at? We can add that in later. We have five minutes to work with on my card. So let's go. <laughs> so Cabo Rico in Charleston, South Carolina. Loved it. Over our budget. Like Some, all of them. Somebody was currently living on it so wasn't really interested in quickly moving out when we made him the offer we made it was a nice boat that was well set up to go oh, yeah. sailing so it was his, his price wasn't unreasonable but no. we made an offer quickly to see if he was because our budget is fixed we're not working mm -hmm. we're not making any more money at the moment so and our timeline is fixed too so and if anybody's interested in the future on 
more budget info and how much we save and our plans, we can possibly do a video on that, but that's not what this one's about, I guess. And then <laughs> catch up later and see if we manage to make that budget work, because it's all just theory at this <laughs> Going point. Going out the window quickly at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah, and then at the same time, we kind of were looking at the one in Charleston, and that fell through. We found Sea Pearl in Florida, which was still slightly over our budget, but getting closer. Beautiful Worth a look. Boat. Worth a look. Oh my god, yeah, we are so glad we came to look at her, though, because clearly... She is now our home. <laughs> um, went back and forth a couple times with an offer. Almost backed out. Just for really getting cold feet. Like, we've tried for so long. Is this even supposed to happen for us? I mean, this boat was... It's really nice um, condition. But it hadn't been used like what we're going to use it for. And so yeah. whenever a boat sits, you know, stuff is going wrong so I knew there was an extensive refit going to happen the equipment is old and not used necessarily for offshore and um, so all of the hoses and things were, were dry rot and stuff which is you know not a big deal when you're day sailing or weekend sailing which is what I think they used this boat mm -hmm. for but for us and then the rigging of course and the sails you know which spoiler the rigging is now complete <laughs> oh i'll accept our backstay everything else is brand new and shiny yeah the backstay i know we need to get there is an interesting radar contraption <clears throat> covering most of the wire that is seized in place so that's for our next fun project but yes see pearl thank you for distracting that one sorry yeah i don't remember now we i don't either but 2021 is going to be our year right well, it is. I mean, it is. We've we bought it now. We're we're in it. <laughs> <It's> um, <clears throat> our quick, real quick, um, before we go, our plans roughly. We have a list that's still ever growing. Um, each time we take something off, we add something new. But we're um, only going to be on this dock until yeah, the end of the month because we're, we're gonna, not paying another month of dock fees. No, we got, we got to get moving. We do, and there's so many things that we can do <clears throat> at anchor or on the move. We're just trying to get like some of the main things done while we're at this marina, um, just because it's convenient. It's a little difficult sometimes when everybody talks to you. We have some very lovely neighbors, but yeah, the marinas are great. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> but not if you're trying to get if stuff. You're trying done. to get work done. It is a little bit difficult. We've had people give us things that. We wouldn't have been able to finish jobs without it's so kind. So thank you to all of those people. Everyone takes a very big interest boat in, people. in people working on their boat. They're the best. Like, what are you doing? Oh, you need this? I got that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That was one of the things that we liked. That about also sold us on sailing. Boat. Yeah, living on a boat. Just the community is amazing. Everyone wants to help. <laughs> Take three. Yeah. Coming to you from the GoPro now because we ran out of um, memory. So, yeah. This is how all of our conversations go. We intend to talk for like 10 seconds to somebody passing on the dock <sighs> 25 minutes later. It's the story of our lives. <clears throat> but, thank you for watching, if you're still watching. If um, there's people watching? <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Um, hopefully, in the future, you'll see us actually out using our boat, because currently we're still trying to do some of the refitting and getting her seaworthy, not seaworthy, she is seaworthy, offshore, long-term offshore ready, is that a thing? Okay. And, yeah, subscribe it's to our channel. It's very intimidating having very... two cameras pointing at you now. <laughs> Only this one's on. It doesn't matter, it's still pointing at me. <laughs> okay. Also, I have to get used to camera, cameras being around, because that's kind of a new thing for us, but this is a way to keep our friends and family up to date on what we're doing and I guess if anybody else thinks we're at all interesting or at, if at least entertaining <laughs> maybe learn from our mistakes <clears throat> um yeah follow along subscribe Isn't that what they do like and subscribe we're gonna edit that part out <laughs> yeah okay bye, bye. <laughs> maybe we're in outer space maybe we're just in a real dusty boat